I will be showing you how you can create a fully verified business PayPal account that can receive and send money anywhere across the world. Now, this is going to be the last video you are going to watch on how to create a business PayPal account. Now, why am I so confident about this? I'm going to be walking you through on how you can create an anti ban bulletproof PayPal account. Even if all your PayPal account has been banned in the past, or you can't receive money or send money, or you live in a country that does not accept PayPal, this video is going to be the last video you are going to watch. So I'll be leaving my social media links in the description in case you have problems opening your PayPal account or you have been stuck in the way or you have one issue or the other, you can easily contact me and I can get it fixed for you. Now this is the more reason why I advise you to go through this video step by step without missing any parts. Because if you get anything wrong in this very video, you are going to be messing everything up and you are going to be getting it all wrong. You don't want that for yourself. So don't miss any part and follow every guidelines I will be sharing in this video. Now before we march fully into this video, I will advise you to pen these things I will be listing down. Because these things I am going to be mentioning is what will keep your PayPal account, an Artiban account and a Bulletproof account with no restrictions. So take your pen and pen these few things I am going to be listing down because you are going to be needing them in the video. Now number one, these are for those who already have a PayPal account or the PayPal account has been banned or it's been restricted. Now if you have a PayPal account before, if you want to open this new PayPal account, you have to use a different browser. Alright? If you don't have a different browser in your phone or in your computer you use incognito mode all right so you don't want to use the same browser you use to open the first paper account to open this paper account because it's going to be traced down so what our advice is that you download a new browser in your phone and make use of it now number two is if you have a paper account before or you already have a paper account before it has been banned or restricted you have to use a different ip address ip address in the sense of network provider you don't want to use the former ip address so that it can't be traced all right if you only have one sim you can go ahead and use the hotspot of your friend or you can go ahead and get a new sim and make use of it all right these things are not that necessary but we want to be very sure we want to be 100 percent sure that this new paper account can be traced and can be blocked that's why i'm taking my time to mention these things so that we can take note of them while we proceed in this video the next thing to do is that once once we are opening this paper account we want to use the location of the country we are using to open this paper account because of this video these things i'm mentioning will be clearer to you because i'm going to be walking you through step by step practically once we are going through the video now the last thing to pin down and to consider is using a different phone number and an email address so if you have an paper account before which you use a specific email address to open you don't want to reuse that gmail in this new paper account and you don't want to reuse that number you have used before in this paper account okay do where to use a different number and a different gmail address to open this paper account all right so with that said i will take you to my screen right now and i'm going to show you how you can open a bulletproof and anti ban paper account in nigeria or any part of the world you are that can send and receive money in anywhere in the world so we are going to be jumping into my screen right now where i show you how you can create a fully verified business paper account that can send and receive money anywhere in the world it's very simple and easy if you follow the procedure i laid down in this video all right now to open a paper account you need to enter your browser we are already in a browser right now so i'm going to go into my cognito mode why am i doing this because i already have a paper account i don't want to open another paper account in the same browser so i'll just go ahead and go to a uh, new cognito window so i'm going to so I'm going to go into the next procedure. Now the next procedure is to enter your PayPal address. Now the PayPal address we are going to be enter is PayPal, PayPal EE. We are going to search for PayPal EE. All right. Once we search for PayPal EE, it's going to load up and it's going to show this. All right. I'm going to just do this because this is what Google shows. Anytime you are using incognito mode, you're just going to solve this robot capture, capture. So I'm going to solve motorcycle. I'm going to select it on next. I'm going to verify it. Okay, I'm going to select it. Verify. So the next thing to do is to go to paper.com.ee. So we are going to look for the address. Okay, so this is not what we are looking for. We are going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down. Okay, this is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, paper.com slash ee. So we just click on this very one. 
and it's going to open for us. So it's going to ask us if we want to create a PayPal account. We are just going to come here and click on sign up. So it's going to load up. So we're already here right now. Okay, see for yourself why millions of people love PayPal. Now, the first thing is to come to over to this very place. Sign up for PayPal. It is free. Now, it's, it's going to ask you to choose from the two type of accounts you need. Now, number one is to choose from a personal account or a business account. Now, so you can see the details here right here. You see personal account shop in your country around the world, okay, from your computer or your phone or without sharing your financial info with the seller. Then the business account is accept payment and send invoices to your customers. It is easier and more secure to say to anyone, anywhere, in any time. This is what we need, a business account. We want to open a business paper account that can send and receive money from anywhere in the world. So we are going to click on business paper account and we are going to click on continue. Now note, before I continue, I select AE because is Arab Emirates, that is Dubai. So I'm using a Dubai PayPal account to create a PayPal account for myself in Nigeria. So follow the first procedure I share in this video by tapping in the address name. So we are going to click on continue and it's going to take us to the next page on how we can create our PayPal account. So it's going to ask you to insert your email address. Now note, when I was starting this video, I told you, if you are opening a new PayPal account, you should not use the former email address. You are going to be using a separate Gmail address, all right? So if you don't have a Gmail address, you're going to create a new one. But if you don't have a PayPal account or you have not created before, there's no need for this. You can use your current Gmail address. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my new Gmail address to proceed in this video. If you click on continue, it's going to load up and it's going to take us to the next page to continue the registration process. Then after that, it's going to ask for your password. You input your password, you click on continue, then it's going to take us to the next page. So once you are here, it's going to ask you to tell us about your business. So enter your business first name, which is also your first legal name and your last name. We just go ahead and type in our names. Then it's going to ask for our business details so note use your business name if you have a business name if you don't have one just form one right now and use it okay you just form one out of your head and use it you can use any business name but make sure it's a valid business name <clears throat> just going to use a business name that yeah. just... so i'm going to just scroll down so this name, if you want to use for your customers, okay, just make sure you take this very place and you come here and you're going to impute your business phone number. As you can see right here, by default, this is a United Arab Emirates number, which is a Dubai number. But we are going to change it to a Nigeria number. Why am I changing this number to a Nigeria number? I can be a Nigeria in Dubai, living in Dubai. That's the reason I'm changing this number to a Nigeria number and it is not a big deal so if you are from other countries from ghana or from a country paper does not work you can use your local you can use your country code and you can impute your business number so i'll just go ahead and impute my number right here i'm going to use a number i've not used before you remember in the beginning of this video i told you you should use a different number if you already have a paper account before or if you don't have a paper account before you can use your normal number but if you have a paper account before use a new number or you can use your other number so we are going to come over here and type in a number. So we just type in a number. So the next thing to do is to impute our business address. Now note, many people will tell you, put your normal address or put where you live. All right, this is not it. All right, when we were starting this video, I told you when creating a working verified paper account, which is bulletproof and anti ban you want to use the address of the very place you are in all right you want to use the address of the very place you are chosen now we choose to open a paper account from ai from ae which is the united arab emirates or which is dubai so if you want to use an address we want to use an address from dubai what you have to do is just to come over and look for a dubai address so we're going to come to the search bar and search for a valid address all right to use on our paper account so i'm going to just go over here and type in fitness fitness center fitness center in fitness fitness center in uh, come on let me tell you fitness center in dubai dubai uee I'm just going to write that right we are going to search for a fitness fitness center in dubai Okay, I'm just going to add address. I 
address. Okay, I'm going to search for it, then it's going to load up some fitness center for me. I'm going to use any of these address, all right? Now, as you can see, this is a Fit Republic Fitness Center. Okay, seven years in business, and uh, we are going. We are looking for address, address, address. Okay, this is the warehouse gym, and this is the address warehouse number twenty three. Okay, so I'm going to just come over to. Okay, let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. We are going to click on more business. We want to look for a valid address we can use for paper accounts. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and uh, we're going to look for okay let's scroll down mm -hmm. so we're going to make use of this one let's make use of this one and uh, we're going to look for the address all right now this is the address we are looking for now this is the address we are going to copy this address this is a fitness center and um, we believe this is a valid valid address. We're going to copy it. I want to try and copy it. It's not okay. It's loading up. Let's just load it up and see what's going to happen. So we are trying to copy the address. Okay, this this you can copy it right here. Okay, we just go here and copy the address from here. So once we copy the address, and um, we are going to come over here and we are going to type it here. We are going to type it here. Okay. Okay, it's asking for PO box. We are just going to write uh, Dubai Marina Tower. And we are going to remove this, copy this out. Just call this out and additional information. Just put it down here. Then city, uh, I was going to put a uh, Dubai. We're going to put Dubai in city. All right. Okay. We just put in Dubai. Then um. We are going to leave this this primary currency as at US dollar. Okay. Then you click on agree. Once you click on agree, you are going to scroll down. All right. So remember what we did here in this business address. Okay. Do where to do your research and select an address that is different from this. Okay. There are different addresses. You can select for a, a food bar, a drinking bar, a beauty spa. You understand? All right, club. These are places with address. Use any of them, and it is it is fine. It is fine. Use any of this address, and it will go for you. So we are done with everything. What we are going to do next is to click on agree and continue. So we click on agree and continue. Then they are going to ask us to describe our business. So we are going to leave it as so individual and sole proprietorship. It's very important. If you want to select corporation or partnership and private corporation, they are going to ask you for too many details of which you don't have. So the best thing to do, the best thing to do is to click on individual and sole proprietorship. Why? Because they are not going to ask you for details. They are not going to ask you for anything. So you just put your product keyword right here. I will just say I am an online. Okay, does not have. Let me let me spell digital. Digital. Okay, digital goods and digital goods and games. Let me leave it that way. Then you can leave your website here. If you have an if you have a website, you can put your website here. But if you don't have a website, you can leave it blank. It's optional. So click on continue. So it's going to ask for your date of birth. Please, please put your accurate date of birth, the date of birth that is in your card or your national identity card or your voter's card or in your uh, what is it called international passport because they are going to verify they are going to verify it. So I'm going to go ahead and impute my date of birth right here. So you are going to ask for your nationality. You are going to leave it at Nigeria. Don't leave it at United Arab Emirates. Very important because they are going to be asking for your identity documents because when they are asking for this, you are not going to be able to provide any UAE document, all right? So you are going to leave it at Nigeria. You are, can be in Nigeria living in United Emirates. So it's not a big deal. So we all look for Nigeria. We are going to select 
I'm going to look for Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria. Okay, this is Nigeria. Click on Nigeria. They are going to ask you for a, a identity document. So you are going to select your document. You can select anyone. You can select your national ID, your passport, or your driver's license. So anyone you want to do, that's up to you. So I'm going to select national ID. So the next thing to do is to impute your ID number. Okay. I'm going to click on next. Make sure this is tick. Same address as same as business address. You want to leave this as you want to leave your home address as same as business address. Go ahead and click on submit. So voila, we already have a working paper account. As you can see, welcome to paper commerce platform where you find everything. Just click on OK. Now we already have a working paper account ready for use. This is a new paper account, zero dollars. The money in is zero dollars and all of that. So this is how you can do your working paper account. If you want me to do a separate video on the walkthrough on paper account, how you can link your bank, how you can link your card, your US card to paper account, and how you can get paid on paper. Let me know in the comment section if I have enough comment about it. I'm going to do a video concerning that. This is how you can create a fully verified business working paper account which is anti-band and bulletproof now with the information i shared with this video if you follow them properly you will have a paper account that can't be banned note if you want to link your card you can come here to link your card as you can see link and confirm my debit or credit card you just come here and you can easily link your card via this very place as you can see link a credit card link a bank account note if you want to link your card you can if you want to link a bank or a card you can link your local bank account okay you have to link a us account all right through that us account you can withdraw your money to your local bank account if you want me to do a video also on how you can create a usa account within a few minutes let me know also in the comment section if i get enough comment about that and i'm going to do a video separately for that i are going to be notified when i drop that video that's why you have to subscribe to this channel and turn all the notification so that you will be notified when i drop that video and also do it to like this video if you know you have got value from this video if you know this video have helped you do it to hit the like button and share it to someone who need this video and these are information you pay for but in this channel i give it out for free so what i'm asking from you is to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification and also give this video a like and share this video to someone you know it can be helpful to them i'm going to be leaving a link in the description that is going to lead you to this very place to create your paper account without going to google thanks for watching this video again i'm going to see you in the next video